good evening. We return with yet another episode of the Alice series. In this video, we are going to be turning ourselves into a scene from Alice. Not particularly a character, but we're going to make a character out of a part of the Alice film. Like, I think that these concepts are cool because they're not existing characters. I'm starting off by painting my face, neck, and chest with the Meiji Look body paint in the color Yeti. <laughs> Pretty much as always. When coming up with the concept for this look, I was originally actually thinking about a Mad Hatter, but how many Mad Hatters really have there been at this point? Enough. So going off of the concept of the Mad Hatter and just tracing it back to the tea party, voila, we have a brand new character. I wanted to come up with a character that would fit at the tea party with the Hatter and other characters. Now admittedly, I have not perfected the one stroke rose, especially when doing it backwards on my body. So I do still break it up into pieces as opposed to doing it very, very quickly. To create each rose, I'm making different shades of pink. Starting off with a darker pink, then maybe doing a lighter pink, and no matter what, mixing it with white. Your brush should have white body paints on the top half of it and pink on the lower half of it. Using green body paints, I'm also creating leaves stemming off of the roses, as well as longer trails of leaves that have rose buds on them. All of this is completely inspired by a teacup that I actually have in real life. I'm pretty sure it's like an actual vintage teacup because I got it off the internet, which I guess that means absolutely nothing whatsoever, but it wasn't a new tea set, and it's like real glass. to bring the flower design up onto my cheeks. Now here's where I'm really gonna define the leaves as well as the roses. Using a dark green eyeshadow, I shaded every leaf on my body. Using a lighter green body paint, I then highlighted one side of every leaf. Going back in using hot pink eyeshadow, a little bit of darker pink eyeshadow, and red in some areas, I'm just further defining the shadows within the rose. If you can do a one stroke rose easily, you probably don't even have to do this stuff. I then re-outlined everything using white body paint. In addition to creating a character inspired by the tea party itself, I also directly referenced the little mouse in the little teacup at the tea party. Kind of shy, sort of hermit crab type vibe, while also mixing inspiration with the hatter, thus giving me the wonderful idea to put bowls on my head. Went to the store and I got mixing bowls for baking and I'm painting them to look like teacups, which will eventually be my headpiece that this character likes to hide underneath. One of the teacups I painted like how I'm painting my body and the other I decided to give polka dots. Go ahead and prime your eyes. I'm then applying white eyeshadow over my entire lid. 
My beauty makeup at this point was actually still up in the air, but I decided to paint my eyebrows pink. Not black, not anything dark, pink. And of course decided that pink eyeshadow would match this look the best, especially since I wanted it to be a cute, shy, adorable character that hides underneath her teacups. I also ran into a mystery of where is my blush because that's not my blush in there That's just the magnet where the blush goes. I have no I don't know where it went I grabbed a different blush and applied it all over my cheeks It actually worked out a little bit better because this blush had sort of a gold reflection to it And there was gold on my teacups that I just painted I added a little bit of white eyeshadow to the tip of my nose Before I finished my eyes, I wanted to figure out what I was going to do with my lips and I decided to make them green just to match the leaves on the teacup. They were originally going to be pink with the rest of my makeup, but I just decided that green is going to stand out more. To give my eyes a slightly wider effect, I lined them using white eyeliner. And instead of following the rose pattern around my eyes, I actually decided to give myself white polka dots to reference the other teacup that goes on top of my headpiece, so both teacups actually do match the look. I then outlined my lips using white body paint as well as lined my eyes using white liner. And thus my teacup character was born. Sometimes she comes out and has a cup of tea and other times she just hides. If you enjoy my Alice series or any of my videos, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it so very, very, very much.